G'day everyone, Master Ebony from CapsuleComputers.com.au Today we'll be reviewing an iPhone game from InMotion Software called Catacombs. Uh, Catacombs is a uh, top-down style, dual analog, uh, dungeon crawler style game like uh, the old classic Gauntlet. It's, um, it's great fun, it's quick pick up and play action and I'm going to run you through a bit of the gameplay right now. So basically, you, uh, if I go into extras, let's see what other games In Motion actually has um, available for them to purchase. You can see they've got Dig It, also the I Dig It, Dungeon Defender, Pocket Dynamo, uh, sorry, Pocket Dino, and Trini Tower. So they've got a whole lot of other games. You can always check them out on the iTunes store. That's fantastic. There, uh, I got, I got, you got. Basically, we've gone through their credits and help. Now, in the help, we can. I'll basically run you through very quickly what you can expect to see in the game when you play it. Uh, now, we'll start from up here. Now, uh, you know that you basically got your health and you got your XP. You pick up keys the same way as you would in Gauntlet. Then you've got your extra um, little perks that you pick up while you're playing the game. So you've got speed boots which make you run very very fast fast shot which basically tells you that you can shoot really quick bounce shot which rebounds off walls and spread shot which gives you three um, depends on what you what character you choose three shots of spread towards um, the enemies you move with that you move with this analog controller over here you can pause the game you've got a special ability you can shoot with in all different directions as you can see right there with that controller here that is treasure, you can just pick it up along the way, you pick up health which re replenishes your health, you've got uh, the amount of money that you've picked up, the level of your character, the map that you're on, and a little mini map. Alright, so that's pretty much basically the gameplay in a nut, or the, the instructions in a nutshell, and it's very very easy to play, it's not too complicated. So basically we've got three classes of um, players that you can choose from. Um, you got a warrior who's very strong that throws an axe. You got a mage that casts magic and shoots magic bolts, and you've got an archer which does the same thing as the, you know as a warrior would, but it's uh, not as strong but uses his arch, uh, uses his bow and arrow. So I'm gonna make I'm gonna take you back and show you how to, how the warrior basically works. Very simple, not too complicated. Now. There are a total of 24 levels. Um, now, as you can see, I've just completed the first one, which was the dungeon. Now, they've also got a f um, in motion have a forest level, which we, you can download if you like. You can download that one um, for a price of 99 cents. So, as you can see right there, it gives you a quick rundown of what you can expect if you did purchase the game. You can click on the more info, and it gives you a little bit of a quick, little quick screenshot of the game and what you can expect when you, if you do, in, you know, if you are interested in playing it. Uh, and purchasing it as well. Um, it's another 24 levels of fun, which is good. You can always enjoy that. Um, now, basically, going back to the warrior, as you can see, you got the dungeon, and that's the one that I've completed right now. There's 24 levels of that. Now, you, as you can see, you can play on different different levels of difficulty. I'll go in there and start on easy, just to make it very simple, and that's pretty much it. All right. So, as you can see, uh, with, with the controls, it's very, very simple to use. They're very intuitive. They don't run. You know, you don't have no sticking or anything like that. It's very simple to move around. The controls are nice and big, as you can see. So you have no problem there at all. Now, you've also got, as I said, down the bottom, you've got your shoot, which you can shoot in all different directions. And as you can see, you've got a health bar up the top. Now there, there's an enemy coming right at you and you can just basically, you can move back and forth as much as you like. It's very, very simple. It's not too complicated. There's a key. You pick up a key. The key appears up the top. Now with the key, you know, you basically need it to open up doors. And as you can see right now, I'm going to be opening up a door and going through it. And that opens up a door. And then you can, then you can move through it and more enemies will appear on the other side. So basically it's a very, very simple and easy to understand type of a game. You've got um, a special down the bottom which I'll, I'll cut it'll come in handy when we uh, when we move closer to to a few enemies and I'll see how I'll show you how that basically works when you do pick up um, little uh, perks which I basically said to you before like the uh, the speed boots here you go here you've got a few enemies coming out now now if I grab them around and bring them all together and then just use that there you go. That pretty much, uh, that special ability, especially for the warrior, does cause a lot of damage. And as you can see, I've just leveled up. Now, there's a level up bar right up the top there, which comes, uh, which basically just levels you up. You don't get any sort of special abilities or anything like that. You just get a bit, you know, you get stronger, but it's pretty much more 
a fun type of action uh, um, action game with a little bit of slight elements of RPG. Now, as you can see right up the top, you've got like a little, 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 little mini map. Now, the little mini map you can't open it up, but it basically tells you and shows you at least where you're going and what you can check uh, in each level that you go see. All right, so basically now I've dropped off uh, one of the one of the monsters has dropped off a pair of boots. Now you can pick them up. And that will increase your speed and the way you can run around very fast. Now there is a, a potion. Pick up that potion. And there you go. So basically, there's there's some treasure on the ground. Now pretty much the dungeon level, you're going to get not too much um, difference in the variety of uh, background. Because the you're basically in a dungeon and that's pretty much what you're going to see. Uh, so basically, you, you'll see a whole lot of different monsters. You're going to see some... Um, some some uh, skeletons, some rat, uh, some spiders, different type of skeletons, and um, some other characters as well. So like some uh, slimes and so forth. So pretty much that's that's what you're going to see, and that's how that's that is the game in a nutshell. Uh, the game is fun. It's really good to play. It's uh, it's going to be picking. It's going to be. It's going to. It's going to have a, a a release of an update coming up very very soon, and uh, I would recommend anybody who'd be interested in those gauntlet style games to give this one a go because it's really fun. You can pick it up, play with it, and and uh, enjoy it even when you're on the bus, on the you know even when you're waiting for for something. It's really, really fun. So basically, as I said, now I've picked up uh, a couple of little extras. Now these extras bounce off walls and stuff like that. Now one thing that I got to, I have to say that when you do pick up these weapons, they do not stay permanently. They will disappear after a certain amount of time. So that is one thing that you need to take into consideration. So pretty much, uh, there's nothing you can do. There is a set limit when they do expire. And when they expire, they pretty much run out, and you just got to continue on your merry way and j just look for other ones and kill more, kill more enemies, on, uh, and that's pretty much it. Now, um, you don't, when you do level up, you don't have any abilities, like you don't have any extra abilities, like that you can give to towards the, you know, more of this or more of that. So it's not like anything in particular. As you can see, I'm about to level up very, very soon once again, and uh, then also the, the. Uh, the goal of every level is pretty much find the exit, go down that exit, and you complete the level, and you move on to the next one. So that's pretty much it. Uh, very, very simple to understand, not too complicated at all. So pretty much, once you've done that, you also the level, um, the map will tell you if you've completed it all, and that's basically what you've just seen just there. The map cleared, and once that's done, you just basically walk in to the next level, and that's basically it. So that's very simple, not too complicated. Now, when you do pause the game, you pause the game, you can go back into the main menu. Now when, the ba when you're back there, you pretty much, whatever level you were on at the time, you will continue from the beginning of that level if you did want to go back. So for example, we go back in there, we choose a warrior, and we just go back into dungeons, and it will ask you, would you like to re uh, resume or go new? Now it's the only way you can resume your game. You cannot save it in any particular way, you can't choose from a different slot or nothing like that. That's basically it, and that will take you back to the same level. And as you can see, I'm on level 2, and I am level 2, and that's pretty much it. So that's uh, Catacombs. It is fun. It is actually very enjoyable. As I said, don't expect it to be too much of an RPG type of game, more like a gauntlet style game. It's only single player at the moment, but it's basically, um, it's fun. It is really great to to pick up and enjoy while you um, are probably waiting for to do something because it's not too complicated. It's very simple, and as you can see, you can get up, you can do a lot of damage as well. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thanks very much for listening. I uh, hope you enjoyed this uh, review. Master Rabbit gives uh, Catacombs, or Capsule Computers would like to give Catacombs a 7.5 capsules out of 10. Now, keep make sure that you do keep uh, a lookout if you do purchase this game because there will be some updates coming up very, very soon. Check on the website for an interview with um, the uh, uh, with, with the owner of uh, In Motion as well. And uh, there'll be a lot more um, information coming out in this game very, very soon. So make sure you grab it from the iTunes store. It's only 99 cents. I uh, hope you enjoyed the review. Have a great day. Master Everett signing out from capsulecomputers.com.au.